It's got plastic deformation of the fibula, so we're just going to kind of conform or confirm the uh, fracture pattern. He's always got some valgus angulation to the tibia. So let's get AP and lat there. Shot. This is a pretty stable fracture pattern. You don't necessarily need C arm, especially if that's not a resource for you. But because the fibula has got so much plastic deformation, I think the best call is to at least at least give it a good push and, and, and see if we can correct some of that plastic deformation. You so to save any money so far? That's fine. That's fine. So the reduction move for any valgus uh, fracture is obviously a varus force and axial traction. And then we're just going to kind of hold it to, to uh, reduce some of that, that plastic deformation of the fibula. And so he's a pretty small guy, may not need much, but... So we're just going to hold it there for a minute. But already had a pretty satisfying... Yeah, reduction. he seemed to move. Yeah. He seemed to get some results on that. Okay. I'm going to do another 10 here just to... I'm going to get slippage for this off to it. I don't know. We'll get it in a sec. Honestly, it's about key then. Okay, so we'll watch this. So the screen on the monitor, we might just adjust that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're still oxygenating good. We still got a good entire CO2. So we're all doing good on that. So, all right. So we got just a little bit extra, just another. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 0.5 of the, or another one in there, another 10 milligrams. So. And again, uh, this tibia would have ke 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 probably keyed in nicely, but just because of the fibula, we're going to hold it for a little longer. This question. Um, okay. Yeah. The, and tibias, really, they, in kids, accept, you can accept about 10 degrees angulation uh, in the coronal or sagittal plane. So we're just, we just got to get it close, but this one should be pretty stable. So okay. We'll okay. get an x ray there. Yeah. I'll save that. Yeah, I'm going to save that. We're going to yeah, that looks good. Get a lat spot. So, so the thing that was kind of like interesting is you call it a plastic fracture of the plastic fibula. deformation. Plastic yeah. deformation. And I, I've heard it's also called a Boeing fracture yeah. too. So, uh, which, which is kind of an interesting fracture, I think. Right. You know? And so you see them bottom forearms. You see them in all of those. And the way you really are supposed to reduce them is you can get like a dowel. And you just kind of hold force on that dowel for an extended period of time. Oh, interesting. So okay. that's why I'm just kind of creating a fulcrum and just holding it for a while. Okay. We'll do it for another minute, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and put the long legs on. Yeah, so. yeah. It, that looks, the, the x-ray looks great. But. So tibia shafts and a child or adult, you really need to do a long leg splint. We're going to have you back up. Uh, we will get another x-ray in the splint. 